I'm Jill Gostin. I work for the Georgia Tech Research Institute as a senior research scientist. I'm actually a mathematician, thus I get the scientist name. They call us either research scientists, research engineers, or research technologists. And mathematicians fall under the category of scientists. I got my bachelor's degree at a small school in Illinois called Greenville College. Uh, less than a thousand students and I got a bachelor's degree in math with a minor in computer science. And then I was hired on by the Georgia Tech Research Institute. So I moved to Georgia and that part of the um, requirement of being hired on was that I would also work on my master's degree. So I worked on my master's degree while working full time. So I worked full time and got my master's degree at Georgia Tech also in math with a minor emphasis in um, numerical methods. I was always told that I was really good at math and so I was kind of pushed towards it but I also really enjoy working with numbers um, which is a lot of math up until you're in your maybe late high school and early college then you realize that there's more to it than just the numbers there's the proofs there's the theory that kind of thing but it started out just an interest in numbers and an ability to work well with that Um, in the beginning of my career, probably the most rewarding thing was getting recognition for what I was doing, presenting papers, maybe getting awards for the work I had done or for best paper, that kind of thing. Um, this stage in my career where I've worked, you know, almost 30 years, um, the most rewarding thing for me is being able to help other people get recognition. Probably the most stressful thing is um, time constraints. Um, a lot of the work I do right now, um, I'm dependent on someone else doing something first and if they get behind then I get behind. So there's a lot of time pressures involved. The first thing I do is go through my in basket of emails because I get a lot of emails and um, a lot of work that we do is done um, you know, via correspondence or via setting up teleconferences or video conferences. And um, I do a lot of work on computers during the day. Um, I spend part of my time each day doing some um, financial management of programs. And there's a small part of my day that's spent doing documentation of what I'm doing. Large salary for a, a beginning mathematician is probably forty-five dollars to $50,000 a year. Um, and it, uh, it's probably highly dependent on what a mathematician does. I think the higher paid mathematicians are probably in research or computer fields. And probably an average salary if you took all mathematicians from young to old, probably the average is around 100,000, low hundreds. Yes, there's usually for, um, for someone in, in my position as a mathematician in a research organization, there's usually three to five research level positions. There's also several different management levels you can advance through. What I use the most from high school is geometry and algebra. Um, these days I don't do much calculus, although I have had to do calculus before in my work. Um, physics, I use a lot of my physics course. I took debate and I was on the debate team in high school, which was a big help in being able to present and um, you know any any course English literature that required writing because I do like I do end up having to write a lot of reports yes it has changed a lot I remember a lot of what I do um, involves working with data and presenting you know coming up with plots graphs graphics that show something about the data and when I started um, one of the machines that would plot my data actually would had a little arm that would go over and pick up a pen and come over and draw the plot out you know and, and now you know you just do it on there everything's on the computer so there's been a lot of changes i think there's probably job growth even going on in the mathematics field because of the diversity um, that mathematicians have be open to that diversity. Um, don't try to get yourself locked into one area because that will limit your opportunities. Um, be willing to ask questions. 
and know how to use resources.